Hi everyone, Marion Emerson here. Um, I'm still recuperating, so if you saw my last video or the one before that, I can't remember when, um, I've had major surgery, so I'm taking it easy under doctor's orders, but I'm still crafting because I just love to craft. And it's good for the mind, it really is. Um, but I just can't do loads and loads of things. So I've had a bit of help and had um, and used some of my 3D embossing folders, had these um, run through, embossed, whatever you call it. See, my brain's gone as well. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple of really simple cards. Well, in my head, they're simple. I haven't done them, so I don't know what they're going to turn out like, um, as usual. But I just wanted to show you, if you need a card in a hurry. Um, so I think I'll start off with this one. So I'll just, let me just start off with Altano. I love their embossing folders. Their 3D embossing folders are just beautiful. Um, and I was speaking to a lovely lady in my last video, Denise. Um, she loves these as well. And we, we both sort of feel that the quality is fantastic. It really is. So this is just a little selection of the ones I've got. I used some in videos, uh, video the other day. Um, this particular one it's called Diamond Stars. I've got it in there upside down. Um, Diamond Stars. And it is just fascinating, but I've never tried it, never done this with it. So I'm going to do just some colouring, just some basic, basic colouring. I'll come back to the um, words a little bit later. So let's just stick me glasses on the eyeballs. And all I'm thinking is once you've embossed this, this is for when you need that card in a real hurry, like I often do. And then you're just going to start getting your ink on there. Now, what it should do is pick up the ink heavier in the embossed areas. So you might get some that goes down into the debossed bits, and that's fine. But what we want it to do is pick it up on the embossed areas so you can just sort of see... There, it's just picking it up. So I'm starting off with Hot Tub, which is very, very light. And then let's go a bit of Mint to Be over the top of that. Pick this up. If you've got the refills, then you can just drop a little bit of refill on there and then pick it up. So let me just come in with this. Sorry if the table's shaking. I'm still on a different setup. I'm not in my craft room. Okay. And then I'm just going to go along. So at the moment, I've used Hot Tub, Mint to Be, and then I'll probably go Sea Glass. Let's pick up that. So I'm going very, very lightly. I'm not pushing heavy on the brush. I'm letting the brush do the work and just sort of touching it lightly. This makes for a great masculine card. It really does. One, because of the pattern on this and just two, the colourings. Just look lovely. And what you can do... So look at that. So we've got like an ombre coming down now. It just looks gorgeous. What you can do if you wanted to, you could go around the edges. Um, I'm not going to. I just I like it as it is. I've missed a little bit there. So I've got to try and remember what one I used for me mint to be. I think it was this one, this brush. Just to get in there. Can you see how that picks up on the top? I haven't really, I must admit, I mean, I've got a little bit gone in there, probably where I went a bit too heavy um, on the brush at first, but it hasn't really touched below and it just looks fantastic. And it's one of those, this is one of those designs where you keep sort of like looking at it and your eyes go a bit, whoa. So yeah, so, okay, so really it is as simple as that. So let me just move these out the way now i had i can't remember 
where my packaging is for this, but this is a lawn fawn dye. I don't even know if it's still available. If it is, I'll link it. If it isn't, I'll see if I can find something very similar because lawn fawn do fabulous dyes. Um, but I've just gone ahead. I'm, as I say, I'm keeping this simple. I've just gone ahead. I've, um, it's been cut out of white cardstock and then cut out of some funky foam. Um, I'm not sure what you guys call it. So let me just take my little glue. What's the one you all use in America? Is it is it barely glue or um is it barely glue? I can't remember now. <clears throat> but I can't get that over here. And scrapbook.com don't do it, which is a bit annoying. This is me Wow um, Superior Smooth cardstock that's been cut in half lengthways. Is at this point I decide, do I want the darker at the bottom? Oh, sorry, at the top or at the bottom? I actually think, whoops, I'm going to go darker at the bottom so let's just stick this down and then I'm not doing anything to this I'm just keeping it I cut it out of the wow well, um, white card stock again so I know that it's all matching Personally, I'm, I'm so OCD, I don't like it if something doesn't match. I am my worst own enemy for that. Okay, now we could offset it down here. We could just stick it straight in the centre, which I'm going to do. And you know what? I was just thinking, I mean, that's just, it's just so simple. But thanks so much. And then if you wanted to personalise it, you could print off a person's name and then just put thanks so much and then have the name going across the middle there or at the bottom there and just make it a little personalised card. So just type it out, print it off. That's the nice thing about that wow cardstock. It goes for all the printers, lovely. So I'm going to turn that over so it can stick nicely while I then go on to do the other one. Because what you've got to remember, you've got bits sticking up. So let me just stick that over there. Right, now this one, um, this has been done a couple of times. So this one's a bit bigger. Um, and then this can just be trimmed down to fit on the card front. So one goes that way and one goes that way. I've just, all I was thinking, now let me tell you what this one is. This is the bot uh, blah, 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 botanical 3D embossing folder. It's just, it's just gorgeous. They're just, and I think they're a really good price as well. So no colouring on this one, but what I was thinking, I've got myself... Hang on, what was I thinking? I forgot what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to colour this. I was, yeah, I was going to colour one. Let me just stick that on there. Um, just very, very lightly. And then I was going to put some clear sparkle embossing powder over the top and just see what happens. So I've got to be very light in how I do this because I know I'm really heavy handed so I am gonna let me just stick that one aside so if I go with hot tub because that is a nice light one it, it's one that you probably don't even get to see much on the camera until it comes close up so just start oh I think it's too light or do I need a refill let me just oh there's me refill for it 
Okay, let me just give it a bit of a smooshing. And go round. Do, 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 do. And then what you would normally do is take something like a credit card and just rub that down. So you're sort of pushing it in to the foam. Because I'm only using this for blending at the moment, I'm not too bothered about that. So I'm not going to pain you. So it takes you ages to, to watch. Here we go. Just getting a bit. It's very hard. I'm trying to be really light, but I'm so heavy handed that I'm aware of that. So I'm trying to do it lightly. You could also use little sponge daubers and just pick up your colour and then just start dabbing it. Look at that. Look how that picks that up. It's just it's just different ways how you like to do it. But I want to get a colour on there. I think I prefer this. I don't know actually. What I'm trying not to do is in effect go over the lines. Okay, so I think I got away with that actually by using the dauber on these little areas and it didn't go on the back of the card. And then what I like as well is it goes darker on these bits. So it makes it look even more 3D. What would we call that? 4D. So yeah, I like that. And that's just using one ink, but it looks like you've used a couple of inks. Okay, let me just <clears throat> put that there. I want to give it a little dry. Not that it's really wet, but I just want to try and make sure it's dry. Now, let me just... This is my brayer. And then I'm going to use... Oh, right. So, Lisa Taylor, lovely, lovely lady in the UK, sent me some of these um what they call coffee filters and she said to me give give them a go so i did the other day and i really struggled i just had it like that i was struggling to put the powder back in and i said that to her and she said do a nice crease right down the middle a bit like people do sometimes on on the pieces of paper so this is my first time trying this. So Lisa, if it doesn't work, I do apologise. It's not you, it's me. I am cack-handed, um, but I will give it a go. So I've got my Wow Clear Sparkle Embossing Powder. I've got my ink pad. And I'm just going to lightly... run over it I don't know whether I'm getting enough on and I won't know that until I've put it on and tried it if you used a dish dressing it may um, stay wet long enough a distress oxide may stay wet long enough um, otherwise you just do it this way Oh, that looks pretty enough for me. It's just picking it up in places. That's lovely. Right, okay, here we go. With the line. Ah, perfect. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> if you're watching this, thank you very much. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so you can see I've only got a tiny bit in here. Um, all you do is just drop it at the top and then run it down. Okay, so... So, so, so. I normally heat from behind, but there's only a tiny bit on here. I'll see what it takes. Oh, I'll see what it takes it like.
Okay, I've got a little gremlin on there. Come off you. Cooked it in. <laughs> there we go. Um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, if I wanted to, let me just make sure I'm in shot of you. See, I'm probably doing it over here going, look at that, look at that. Right, there we go. It's really, really subtle and really, really pretty. If you wanted to do another layer, you could. There's no reason why you can't. I personally like how soft and subtle this is. So that looks lovely. I've got another bit there. So then all I was thinking, let me just take another piece. Another piece of my WOW cardstock. So between these two cards, this is one sheet. And then I'm just going to fold that. Whoops. That will go on there. Let's get those bits off. Now, do I want it that way? Or do I want it that way? Because I was thinking... So when I... Um, let's get rid of this. So these are the Sizzix Thin Lit. So thanks, love, celebrate. I often um, cut out... Um, them ready in cardstock to go. Um, also, I've got Bestie. I love this Catherine Paula Bestie. Let me just see what that looks like size-wise. Because I like this one. Let me take that out. Whoops. So I could have that on there. I like that. Don't I? Oh, do you know... But what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss this. So I'm glad I went with Hot Tub because I've got a few patterns. I don't think you can see them. I've got a few powders here. One of them is the Honey Bee Bee Kind. So um, I did have a lady ask me the other day about um, doing words. This is my best tip for doing words. I like to cut them out first because some dyes, I'm not saying all of them, but some dyes, where they've got the little pokey holes, they can actually leave a dent in if it's too thick. So if you cut it out first, just use your brayer. Get lots and lots of ink on your brayer and then rub it over. And then what you wanna do, you want to flip your paper over or I could have used me coffee filters sorry Lisa see when you do stuff all the time you forget and then you can just do that get yourself oops some tweezers I'll just pop that there a minute Pop your powder back so it doesn't blow all over the place when you're heating it. And then you can use your tweezers. You're not actually touching it. You're just, I'm going in between that little bit at the top just to anchor it down. That is, look, I've got all these little gremlins everywhere. What's happening to me today? Go away. Oh, I've melted that bit in as well. I don't know what that is. What I could do is go over it with another layer just to get rid of that. Because I think that might annoy me. Or shall I get away with it? And then we're just going to put Bestie there. So let me just stick this down. I think I'll... I'll no, 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 no. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm such a nightmare. Such a nightmare. So let me flick my paper back over. To where I had it. And then right, okay. 
let's just move that out of the way, make sure it's not hot. Put a bit of tape on this. Right, and then, actually look, that's intensified it as well in the colour. So that looks nice. So what I'm going to do is put some glue on here. Because it's going to have to go over some of the raised bits as well. So you want to make sure you can always spread it out with your finger into the little bits and then when you're happy with where it is hold it down just for a few seconds and then grab oh it's popped back up grab one of your blocks just to hold it there and it really is as simple as that it's just it's lovely really lovely so very simple very effective what have I done with the other car <laughs> oh no I was going to do something with this one wasn't I sorry <laughs> what was I going to do with this one? Oh, I was just going to use a coloured embossing powder on this one so if I just move that over there so same technique using the brayer. So you've got to go lightly and then you're just going to be able to sprinkle little bits of colour. So I'm, I've got one here called Blushed, which is like a pearly shimmer sort of pink. And then I'll go back with the Be Kind as well. So let me just, because I've got those out. So again, brayer. Go quite light. I'd rather go too light than too heavy because you can always go over it again. See, I might have some lines there. So let's see, shall we? So let's go for a bit of pink in the flowers. And there, and there, and that one, and that one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to flick it like that. Right, okay, that's okay. It's not fully covered, but then the other one wasn't. I did flick it towards me, and now I've got powder all over me. <laughs> Let me just give that a little flick off. And then I can go a bit more with the Be Kind. As if that's the leaves. So I'm not, you can see I'm not covering all of it. Yeah, I thought I'd got some there. But at this point, this is where you can brush it off. So any embossing powder that you get anywhere where you don't want it, you can brush it off before you heat set it. Look, I've got like a cross... Oh, because I went that way and then that way. So I've got a cross hatch going on on those flowers. That looks really cool. All right. Get rid of that. I'm in a right old mess here now. So get rid of any bits you don't want before you heat set it. I'm probably, I'm, well, I know, not probably, I know I'm going to have to cut this down to size. Look at that. I, I just love, I know I didn't mean to do it, but look at that cross hatch in the flowers. It just looks lovely. <laughs> so, total fluke. 
Right, let's give this a little choppity chop. I'm going to take a bit off here and then I'm going to take more oops, off there, or a little bit. I think that's about the right length. And then I want it to be, so don't forget I work in English card size. So I'm just going to go four inch. Love this trimmer. Do you know what I love about it? I love the noise that it makes. Um, have I got a card already folded? No, I've got another one here though that I can fold. Look, my watch is telling me it's time to stand. You'll be lucky. <laughs> right, next time I'll give you a tip what I do with me embossing powders, if I remember. I probably won't remember. <laughs> but look at that. How pretty is that? That is just so gorgeous. I don't even know if it needs much more on there. I was saying in one of my previous videos, I like to just do them and not put anything on there because um, then they're sitting there ready to go when I've run out of a card. So it could be an anniversary card, could be birthday card, you know, anything, get well. So I do like to have cards ready just for that or even, the, you know, a just because card. You know, if you're sending it to a friend. Okay. So let me just... Am I doing that way? I'm going to go that way. Oh, you know why? Because I was going to have it long ways, wasn't I? Oh, I can still turn it round. Ba, ba, ba. I probably didn't cut it narrow enough, but that's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. No one's going to judge. And if you do, move along. <laughs> I can't be doing with all that. Okay, so I could have it going that way. Or that. I mean, this is my favoured way. I do like cards that go like that. And then if I wanted to, if I was going to have a thanks... Just that, I could just do the same sort of thing. I could do it in the pink or that um, Be Kind, in that blushed or Be Kind and then pop it on there. Black would also look very nice. So let me just get back the ones that I've done. So we've got this one where we've just colored it. Very, very simple. I think that's stuck now. So that one is with inks and then clear embossing powder. And then that one is with um, blushed, was it blushed? Blushed and be kind embossing powder. So three really simple cards using your 3D embossing folders and a little bit of wow. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.